Sig Zeon. Welcome back, guys. I am Spicy Bill, and today I will be reviewing my own personal Gunpla collection. So right here, we have the Hygro Universal Century HUC 144 scale, Zaku 1. This is the mass production version. And right here, uh, this here we have the uh, High Grade Origins 144 scale, Zaku 1 Cassilia's Forces. So, I'm gonna start off with the High Grade Universal Century kit, as this one is probably quite old. Seeing it came out in the mid, I think the early, uh, early to mid 2000s. And yeah, it's a uh, it's very ba basic. This is basically the grunt variant of the uh, uh, the Saku one. Yeah, I know. Uh, later on, they came out with the uh, Black Tri Star version, and then they also came out with the uh, which version was it? The Saku one sniper, which is like a customized version of the Saku one. So as you can see, it's a very basic design. Uh, this one doesn't even have any power cables. And the weapons are very basic. It's this very basic looking uh, Zaku machine gun. That's uh, very different from the one that used by the Zaku 2. Uh, the one from the Kelsilius Forces, uh, that one looked more like uh, a machine gun used by the Zaku 2. So yeah, this is uh, pretty unique. Also got a little attachment area here for the hyper wall, the, uh, I guess the Zaku Bazooka or something. Yeah, uh, this one is very well known for this signature pose, and yeah, he uh, surprisingly can pull that off, so that's very nice. Let me go ahead and just, you know what, forget it. Yeah, he can pull off this uh, pose, so I'm using the wrong uh, hand for this uh, machine gun. It's supposed to be, I, I'm supposed to use the uh, the trigger finger, but anyway, can pull that off, so... As you can see, uh, the the details and articulation is pretty dated on this kit. However, the kit itself is actually very solid. Just like pretty much any of your Zaku's. They're known to be a very, very solid kit. Not flimsy, nothing is falling apart. Only exception would be the real gray Zaku 2. That thing is a flimsy mess. <laughs> it looks great, but it's a tremendous... Well, it's pretty much a brick. I mean, that you're not going to be doing anything with that other than, you know, just putting it on the shelf and look at it. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. So, like most of the Zaku, the older Zaku, we have this very special gimmick where the feet can hinge out. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it's designed specifically for articulation. So, let's say you want the uh, Zaku to be kneeling surprisingly it almost can kneel <laughs> almost not quite though <laughs> yeah I, I wouldn't call this kneeling but yeah it, it's old so and we got the uh, surprisingly double jointed knee yeah for a very old high grade that's pretty good and we also uh, unfortunately this is the old style articulation we do have the uh, attachment port right there for the action base Front skirt can articulate, side skirt can articulate. No power cables to uh, hinder the waist articulation, so the waist can actually go 360. It's very nice. We got the butterfly function right there. Chest is one solid piece. Uh, neck, we do have the uh, hinge right here, and the head is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that. It is hindered by this uh, piece right there. And you have the butterfly motion, which you can bring out the shoulders. And also, you got this special... Uh, design here for the, uh, uh, this one's not that special, but anyway, the uh, pauldrons right there, bicep swivel, surprisingly double jointed elbows, that's nice, ball joint for the hand, very nice, and yeah, that's pretty much it, this is a, this is a pretty solid kit, it's still pretty decent by today's standard, considering, you know, it's very cheap and very massable, uh, you can probably find this kit online, for any under ten dollars, so if you can find it for under ten dollars, this is definitely uh, worth getting multiple. Seeing in Japan, you uh, I think it as low as three dollars. In Japan, um, one of my friend got a few uh, recently for about like a dollar, a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty U.S. Yeah, that's uh, this is a super good deal if you can get it for a dollar fifty. Yeah, that's uh, that's just insane. Dollar <laughs> fifty. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I have a, 
I wish I can get these guys for a dollar fifty. Anyway, next off, we're gonna take a look at the High Grade Origins, uh, Saku One Cassilia's Forces. This one was released in 2017, and obviously, you can definitely see the difference in technology and detailing. With these Origin kits, you have just really, really good. They just went all in with the detail. You know, uh, tons and tons of detail. Look at look at the difference between that. And uh, they also do a very good job of hiding the seam lines. You can see uh, these the old high grades have like seam lines everywhere. Uh, the seam lines here are very well hidden. Basically, uh, they hide the seam line as a panel line, so it's almost non-existent. Like you can't like where's the seam line right here? Basically, it's actually uh, this this two pieces, one piece, two piece snap together, and then there's another piece up front that covers up that whole seam line. And then we got the knee armor that covers up the rest of the seam line. That's very well designed. And yeah, uh, this guy definitely uh, outshines the uh, traditional uh, HUC Zaku one. The proportions are very, a little bit different. You can see the head on the Origin kits are smaller. Uh, but, you know, it's about the same height. About the same height. Just slightly different proportions. But yeah, I mean... I think they can still look okay next to each other. This one just got a smaller head, but either way, uh, the origin the origin kits are supposed to be like a reimagined version of the uh, you know the stuff on Universal Century. I'm pretty sure if this guy is gonna get a revived version, it's gonna probably have like more, uh, more real, more uh, new style proportions, more similar to the something from the origin kit. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Zaku-1 Cassilia's forces. So yeah, you can see a lot more detail, a lot more decals. All these are just sticker provided by from the kit itself. Um, these uh, dry transfer stickers are terrible. You know, over time they're just gonna bubble and it looks like it's gonna come off. So you're probably uh, better off investing in some water slide decal. Obviously this guy right here has got a shield. Very nice. Uh, the Zaku one is supposed to have this uh, uh, shield too, but I think I I misplaced it somewhere. It's like a hand shield that kind of look like the Zaku two's uh, shoulder uh, shield kind of thing. But either way, whatever. And he's got this uh, Zaku two style machine gun right here. Very nice. I think this is officially part of the kit. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and just take a look at this guy. More, a lot more detail. You know, uh, attachment point here for the backpack, so you can attach other stuff to it. Uh, the kit itself is actually based on the Zaku too, but yeah, they just did away with all the power cables, redesigned the chest piece and the head piece. The head piece is actually very unique. Um, I believe the Mono Eye can actually move. Yes, the Mono Eye can move. Uh, Basically, what you need to do is just push the head down, and you can get the mono eye to articulate. I think. Uh, oh no, uh, there's a little switch in here, which you need to access in order to move the mono eye. Let's see if I can do it with this Saku machine gun. There we go. Yeah. So there we go. You still have to flick that switch to move the mono I wonder how about this kit? Yeah, also have a switch in here <laughs> to adjust the mono I. It's a lot easier to do on this kit, but anyway, since uh, it's newer technology. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this guy. So this is 2017. We have much better articulation. Uh, the feet itself can be articulated. It's a uh, it's very subtle. It's not that great, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, it's basically two piece, but you can really get the foot foot to move at all. I think this is just designed mainly for just you know, for looks. But anyway, we got a hinge right here for the feet, and you can rotate that side to side. Very nice. And once again, we have double jointed knees right there. 
and we have the thigh cut which is a great improvement over the old kit individual front skirts and uh, side skirt can be articulated and we also got this special style hinge so you can move the whole hip section forward so the Zaku one can sit down like that this guy's not going to be able to do that and you can also do the splits oops side skirt just popped off and you can put push this back in there back in place put the side skirt back on here very nice and uh, well the chest is still one solid piece but we also have full 360 rotation due to the fact that it doesn't have a power cable and the head is uh, multi-segmented there's a neck joint right there and then another joint that goes into the head so you can actually move that forward you can pull kind of pull the head up and improve the articulation by rotating that i already showed you how the mono eye work and for the shoulders uh, this is very interesting so we also got this uh, moving shoulder joint here this is a uh, very unique design to the uh, origin zaku and then we also got this butterfly joint right here swings out and we also got another hinge right here for the arm so that's very good articulation right there and uh, yeah well we have to show you right here this one right can go perpendicular go all the way up like that and we have the bicep swivel and let's go ahead and pop this off real quick and we have double jointed elbows yeah. this is a very nice double jointed elbow <laughs> yeah it's better than that one that one's still very impressive consider how old this kit is and it still have double jointed elbow for Saku that's very nice okay and uh, I think you can kind of articulate this roster, but that's kind of pointless. And yeah, also got this very unique angled uh, trigger finger for the uh, machine gun. So that's very cool. All right, and that is pretty much it for the uh, Zakus. So let's go ahead and uh, end this review. Uh, next, I'll be reviewing the uh, Zaku 2s, obviously. Uh, this thing just kind of came off on me. Alright. Yeah, I can fiddle around with Zaku's for, for days. Basically, yeah. Uh, obviously, you guys know I'm a young guy, so I'm all about Zaku's. I, uh, I've been holding off on, like, army building Zaku's. Because I, I knew, like, you know, once I start, I'm just going to have, like like a ton and ton of Zakus, so I have to uh, restrain myself on doing so. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this re-review. Uh, re I hope you guys find the information helpful. The Zaku 2 will be next. Thanks for watching.